Naruto and Sasuke were occupied with Haku. Kakashi was also locked in mortal combat with Zabuza. A faker like you could never beat me. For the land of waves and its future, I'll put an end to you. Your future holds only one thing, death. Zabuza, you can't defeat me. I fight because of my ambitions. You're too dangerous. I'll have to stop you here. There you are. There, here I come. You, here I come. Zabuza, you got a little too ambitious. Why? Why can't I keep up? You can't beat me in your current state. Uh, Farewell. Here I come! Here I come! Here I come! You, you. Here I come. Uh, uh, you. There you go! Uh, uh, miss Jutsu! Got it! Uh. Nice going! Uh. Here I come! There you are! Safe! This is the end! Lightning Blade! Your ambition will create lots of sacrifices. That isn't something worthy of a ninja. Twin Lightning Shiver! As Kakashi lashed out with the finishing blow, Haku threw his body in between them, sacrificing his life to protect his master. When a person has something precious they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Haku walked his own ninja way until the very end. Just then, Gato, Zabuza's employer, arrived on the scene with a large band of outlaws. Having no further use for his two underlings, his plan was to murder them along with all of Team Seven. As a gesture of gratitude for the empathy that Naruto had displayed toward Haku, Zabuza expended the last of his remaining strength to slay Gato. at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end. I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go where you have gone. As snow fell all around them like tears from heaven, Zabuza drew his final breath beside Haku's broken body. Watching these two shinobi live out their ninja way to the very end made a powerful impression on Naruto. 